prepare to step into a world of upheaval and transformation where the clamor of change echoes through the cobblestone streets of Paris. You're about to embark on a journey to the heart of the French Revolution, a time that redefined the notions of power, justice, and liberty. From the fall of the Bastille to the chilling rise of the guillotine, we'll uncover the pivotal moments that not only shaped France, but also left an indelible mark on the fabric of history. This is your time mission. Travel to the French Revolution. You land in the 18th century. The air is thick with discontent, and the rumblings of revolution are just beginning. You witness the extravagance of the royal court at Versailles, it's not too much, is it? oblivious to the famine and poverty that grip the nation. The Estates General and the Tennis Court Oath. As tensions rise, you find yourself amidst the gathering of the Estates General. The third estate, representing the common people, is frustrated by the unfair voting system that favors the nobility and clergy. The atmosphere is electric with the spirit of defiance, culminating in the tennis court oath where a new National Assembly vows not to disband until a constitution is established. The storming of the Bastille, a symbol of revolution. On that fateful day of July 14, 1789, an amalgam of Parisians, from irate workers to emboldened peasants, converged upon the Bastille. This fortress prison, with its looming towers and dark dungeons, had long stood as a monument to the absolute power of the Bourbon monarchy. As you stand amidst the surging crowd, you can feel the palpable anger and desperation. They are armed with makeshift weapons, their eyes set on the cache of gunpowder within the fortress. The governor of the Bastille, Marquis Bernard René de Launay, watches from the battlements, aware that his soldiers are outnumbered. The fall of the Bastille, which would come after hours of negotiation and conflict, marks a seismic shift in power dynamics, heralding the collapse of traditional authority and the rise of the people's will. The March on Versailles, the power of women in revolution. The March on Versailles, which took place on October 5, 1789, is a testament to the critical role women played in the French Revolution. Initially sparked by the scarcity of bread, the march became a pivotal moment in the revolution, symbolizing the extraordinary influence of women in the political arena. These were not just Parisian market women. They were wives, mothers, and daughters who were fed up with the dire economic conditions and the indifference of the royal family. Let them eat cake. The downfall of the monarchy, the path to regicide. By August 1792, revolutionary fervor had reached a fever pitch. The Tuileries Palace was overrun by insurrectionists, leading to the royal family's incarceration. The subsequent September massacres further inflamed public sentiment against the monarchy, culminating in its abolition and the proclamation of the Republic on September 21, 1792. The trial of King Louis XVI by the National Convention was fraught with political tension and division. Ultimately, he was found guilty of conspiracy and subversion against the state. On a cold January morning in 1793, the guillotine blade fell, ending the life of the king and, with it, the Ancien Regime. Marie Antoinette's execution months later underscored the revolution's resolve to eradicate the vestiges of the old order, the changing regimes, from chaos to order, the aftermath of the terror ushers in a period of rapid changes in governance, the Thermidorian reaction dismantles the existing power structure, leading to the establishment of the Directory. This new government, though more moderate than the Jacobin regime, struggles with corruption and inefficiency. It faces constant challenges, including economic hardship, political dissent, and military defeats. As you observe the Directory's attempts to stabilize France, you see the rise of a new constitution and a bicameral legislature. However, the Directory's tenure is marked by a revolving door of leaders and coups, reflecting the ongoing struggle to find a sustainable model of governance, setting the stage for the rise of a new leader, Napoleon Bonaparte and his authoritarian empire. Good. You return to the present, carrying with you the lessons of the past. The French Revolution was a crucible of modern thought, a testament to the human spirit's quest for freedom and equality. As you ponder the legacy of those tumultuous years, you recognize the complexities of revolution and the price of progress. Now it's time for your next mission, travel to the Roman Empire. 
Strap in and get ready to go. 